the quick um, easel card that I'm going to make using some supplies from the new Anna Griffin. Oh, wait. The Finishing School China Cabinet. Um, so I thought this would be a good idea to do, to see if we can multitask with this kit. So Letty, this is for you. Okay, so this is the first die and I'm using um, some concentric dies that I purchased and these are some tattered lace dies. So first thing I'm going to do is make sure this is the right card base. And so I'm going to cut my card base and I'm using an impress machine because I want to see if I can do this all on the impress. Okay. These um, dies are rather thin. So I'm hoping that they can go through this card base. Yep, they do. Okay, so these are going to be kind of, these are going to be uh, a smaller card. I think this bait, this uh, die is just about a four. Hi, Beverly. Thank you for joining me. I'm doing a um, quick easel card with the Anna Griffin cabinet because these plates are so cute. So that's why I decided to use that. So we're going to, this is almost four, that's three and a quarter, one and three fourths. And we're going to uh, bend this back. And of course it's not even, so let's make it even. Okay, and so that's our easel. This is just gonna be a quick double easel, okay? So then I'm going to take my plate. That's cute, okay? And so I'm going to take that plate and put that right there. Okay, so when you're doing the easel, don't forget, you're going to cut that part off. And so your card base is going to be... You're going to be cutting off part of your card. Okay. And then that's the top. We're going to mat that together just like that. And that's our first easel plate. Right. That's our first easel plate. Now I'm going to take my second one. And I'm going to use the much smaller die to make my second easel. And run this through right quick. Okay. And there's our next card base. Let's move this out the way. And then, so we have that one first, and then this one. So I'm just going to take this one, and I'm just going to fold it. I think that would be easier, just like that, to make our next easel. And it's going to stand just like that. And I'm going to lay this one down. And I picked these two plates mainly because this one is a little smaller. If you can tell, that's a little smaller. So that's why I picked those two. And I'm going to lay that down on there. Just like that. So now that's my second easel plate. So we have one and two. Now, this easel, in order to make this a double easel, I'm going to take this easel and I'm going to use it as the stopper for this one and so I just kind of measured it and it kind of it told me where to put my adhesive and I'm going to 
put my adhesive and that's going to be the stopper for this one just like that and so now we have a double easel using the Anna Griffin plates and I picked love and best wishes to be my stopper for this one and so because this is so wide and we only have a small amount of room I'm taking the backer off if you take the backer off it's going to reveal that there's something else under there so if you're careful and take this off very carefully you can use this for something else and so I'm just gonna grab me some tape and this is going to be my stopper for this plate and voila we have a double easel card and it can't be an Anna Griffin card without some Anna Griffin flowers and stuff so let's see which kind of cuteness oh yeah and of course you know these are all stickers as usual so we're gonna put one right here we're gonna take this little bitty rose and take this sticker off of here Eek. and we're gonna put this one right there And we got this cute one. And we're gonna add this one right here. So don't be afraid to take your other dies that you have in your, from all of your other sets to do these easel cards. And if I had another plate that was a little bit smaller, I would have had a triple easel. So I'm going to put this right there. And I love the purple. Thank you, Beverly. And I'm going to put that purple right there. And I'm going to take this last flower right here. And I'm going to put it right here. Look at that. A classic Anna Griffin easel, double easel. This could have been a double easel or a triple easel. It doesn't matter. But we have a nice easel card using the Anna Griffin new. Let's put it up here. <laughs> using the Anna Griffin's new cabinet, China cabinet dies. All right. I hope this helps. Um, I hope this helps you out to figure out how to do some of those easel cards and those double easel cards and look how cute that is. And when you're done with it, or you need to mail it, you can lay it right down and pop it into an envelope. Isn't that fabulous? That's fabulous, y'all. I think so. What you think? Yep. <laughs> that's all I need. Yep. I look, I should have made this for somebody, but I didn't make it to mail it to anybody, but I might, <laughs> you know how that is. <clears throat> you always can find somebody to send a nice card to. Yeah, that's true. So you don't do all you need is some nestables, no matter what size nestables you have. You match it up to the, the, the circle, and voila, there you go. And so that's what it looks like from the side view. So we got a side view right there. And there we go. 
All right, y'all. Thank you so much. Hi, Doc. Thank you for joining me. Um, God's desire for me. I appreciate you coming on to join me. Please go back to the beginning of the video. I made a quick double easel card using the new cabinet, China cabinet um, die set. Lovely. I think this is fabulous. I love this um, plate system and the China cabinet. It's just really a beautiful set to me. All right, then. Thank you so much for joining me, and I'll see you in the next one.